before we would even take this further. But Mr Brealey gave assurances to his own brother in 1993 that Titiger was on the way up. Len Brealey bought half a million shares. Those shares are now worthless and he's £80,000 out of pocket. If um, St Mirren shareholders or directors were to ask him what his personal assets are and his personal assets that they could get at if he defaulted on his agreement, then um, and he can prove to them that he can come up with a million pound personal assets, OK, they stand a bit of a chance. I would say maybe 1%, but they stand a chance. Other than that, they've no chance. Whatever Reg Brealey is worth on paper, his luxury mansion in leafy Lincolnshire displays a certain quality of life that most St Mirren fans could only dream of. Saturday, and the local derby with Morton served as a reminder to all just why a cash injection is needed for the club. St Mirren lost 2-0. I'm still confident that we're going to win. Uh, it's, it's, it's not so much a case of winning and losing. I just want the club to be put back in, in proper working order, uh, whoever takes over control of it. Nobody was listening more closely for the final whistle than the St Mirren fans and those who had shaken hands with Mr Brealey in the past. I've got to be frank here. I'm, I'm sorry if this sounds uh, too basic. I would not even read the small print. I would dismiss it out of hand. I really would not have anything to do with Mr Brealey involved in football at all. And in true football tradition, last minute drama. Last night, Mr Brealey withdrew his bid to make way for the local consortium. How are you feeling today? I was in, a member of the team that won the, the Scottish Cup in 87 and it was a great feeling that day. And it's the same type of feeling this morning. Um, great elation inside. The, the thought of this club being in the hands of people at Kerr St Mum is, is a great feeling. Now we've got to push forward any other way it would have been a disaster for this club. For Stuart Gilmer, a lifelong St Mirren fan, it's come as a huge relief. You'll have heard the news. How do you feel about that? Uh, pensive, excited. Uh, you know, I, it's very difficult for me to explain. It's a beautiful day, and hopefully this will be the start of uh, things to come. <laughs> After a hastily convened board meeting this afternoon, the local consortium was given the go-ahead, a decision that's done much to lift the Love Street Blues. Well, cheers. Here's the future. It's a football club. football club.